So I dip this pen in arsenic or write a song for every president that won't ever get shot in the face. So I wrap these strings in plastic explosives. I head down to the courthouse with one chord. I level the place, but oh, haven't anybody learned? Don't ever trust a man who plays guitar. The day I rob a bank's the first day I'm not lying to you or me about what I believe. I died and let my gravestone read Rest in peace, funk Cause no pulse is no excuse not to dance If I live then let my heart be like A beating pig in line I'd sooner see a corpse than see a scab Oh but Haven't anybody learned Who last to make the moves They're the first to say the words The day I rob a bank's the first day of my life As an honest man an honest man The day I go to jail Trying to rob a bank The day I finally get What I deserve been working on becoming what I am in this bus terminal bathroom and these days I dream like I live off trash and scammed greyhound passes why don't I take a shower you wonder I guess what I can't smell I just can't remember So I'm doing my best to smell Just like this basement forever Forever Well isn't hitchhiking dead they all ask not as long as I'm still broke and breathing And if they don't cut this thumb off my dead fist Well they won't even stop me But they're me There ain't nothing like singing your heart out to nobody As you fall asleep by the side of the road you know I've never felt quite as free or quite as alone or quite as alone I don't believe in Cops, bosses, or politicians Some call that anarchism I call it Having a fucking heart that beats I do believe in freedom And never giving up Call my methods madness Or call them luck I do what I got to To feel able to breathe And if you quit your job Well, you can do a little breathing with me A punk rock song won't ever change the world but I can tell you about a couple that changed me So tonight we're gonna fuck shit up Tonight we're gonna fuck shit up Tonight we're gonna fuck shit up So sing with me now We're gonna 
Tonight, we're gonna fuck shit up. Tonight, we're gonna fuck shit up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Show in Asheville. I 
Tonight the upper left hand side of my chest Has a hole as big as the one in my pockets I might have kissed you wearing a bulletproof vest But hell, you kiss like a rocket I'd be a teenage virgin Jerking off in my bedroom If I wasn't a 20 year old virgin That didn't have a bedroom Hey, hey, hey Hey, hey, hey at why are you people in my house who are you uh, <clears throat> uh, good luck Kaiser whatever it was <laughs> you invited me <laughs> uh, caboose you're always welcome in my house know that <laughs> seriously who let us in <laughs> You know one of the scariest things that can happen to you at a party? I'm sorry for those of you who don't know. Um, I know there's fucking some amongst us. Um, so <clears throat> who are you and who do you know in this room right now? Tell me someone in this room you know. Oh, oh anyway. <clears throat> oh, my back's been a mess this week. Just absolutely fucking everything up. Oh, all right. I can close this. I don't need this. <clears throat> we just told your stepdad MAGA and he gave us a key. Well, you know, he's been a lot. Let's just say his intake of. Um, 
the bullshit has been less since I did what I did. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> last, last, not most. Uh, they has. Uh, I, uh, I checked two guests in from Las Vegas to the hotel. You know, the, uh, that means I know, I know you, right? I mean, Las Vegas is small. Uh, it is. I, and chances are, I mean, depending on who they are, I might actually know them. Um, <clears throat> let's see. That's good. I, I mean, beast fucking we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I've been, I started reading that, um, <clears throat> the shooters discord logs. I'm way more uncomfortable with his Discord logs than his manifesto. I'm way more. This isn't like... This is like his personal diary. It's, it's, it's like his personal diary. It wasn't a Discord... It wasn't a Discord set up for like a community thing. It's a Discord for him. It's, it's a journal. It's, it's a diary. It's... it's It makes me feel icky reading it, honestly, because there's like personal thoughts in here. And I know like he's fair game now and all that, but like, <clears throat> yeah, yeah, there's stuff in here that I'm like, it's way too humanizing. It's way too humanizing. It's, it's entirely too humanizing. Um, he'll say something that you'll just be like, I just want to hug you, man. And then he'll say something. You're like, now I want to hit you. <laughs> um, kind of chronicling the fall, kind of chronicling like the attempt not to fall beast. Like it, it's, it's both. It's all of it. It's more complicated than that. It's kind of, it's uncomfortable to read. It is honestly uncomfortable to read. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> some of it, you're just like, okay, this is the stuff that I can handle. This is no big deal. No big deal. Like, he's just going to fucking whatever. Um, but then, you know, he'll fucking do a thing. And, like, you know, oh, fuck, I really, you know, I he chronicles his diet. And, you know, he's like, I really need to try harder. And, you know, I'm, I'm eating poorly. I need to look out for me. Originally, the, the entire Discord was going to be a suicide note. That that was the Yeah, it does, Viva. It does. <clears throat> it's 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 Here's a little, here's a little tidbit. Um, <clears throat> Celts, Slavs, Mediterraneans, and Nordics must unite themselves by race to revert the great replacement. Now I left out one group. Celts, Slavs, Mediterraneans, and Nords must unite themselves uh, by race to, re uh, to revert the Great Replacement. And gingers. He includes gingers in that list. <clears throat> what did I say about Europe radicalizing gingers? What am I fucking banging on about? about how, how poorly Europe manages to treat gingers. Gingers are in that list. I 
I'm telling you, Europeans are the Europeans. Like Americans get way too much shit for 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 racism. Like where 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 was the where was the fucking like we need to give Europe some shit. Like homie, you're like the OGs of this. Like we can't even compare to you guys when it comes to fucking proper othering. You motherfuckers. I mean, we brought American scale to it, but holy shit. Yeah. <clears throat> There's addresses in here, by the way, of some very powerful, famous people. There's addresses in here. Gold, the same way we do everything. Anarchists are better at uh, better at open source intelligence than any other group. We it was by for it was by necessity. All like the anarchist milieu is better at this than most people. We we within 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 hours we had his fucking we had the the footage we had the uh, manifesto and um, then the uh, Discord uh, um, stuff came last. The Discord stuff was last in. <clears throat> Not a single bit of hacking necessary. I mean, I suppose classical MIT definition of hacking, yes. Um, but not the modern sense. But it is... It's sad. The manifesto is worrying. The, uh, the, the stream footage is rightly disturbing. Um, you saw 14 minutes of it, Zippy. You actually watched it. Um, I see Marcus, uh, I, ty I typed, where are the bad man's papers into Google? Am I helping? <laughs> Probably just gave you Hitler. Oh, the duck meme, but it's Europe with racism under the water. Hmm. Um, how'd you do, Zippy? Why did you watch it, Zippy? I have a lot of it, too. He, he, he documented well. There's, I don't know. What do we, what do we, how many pages? 589 pages of notation just from uh, one of the files. Curiosity killed the cat. Hey, for twos. Uh, <clears throat> it is Aspen. It was fine. Sad. Aww. I mean, then there's, there's shit like this. My cat Paige has hung out with me more than anyone else in the last few years. I hope when I'm gone, my family can take care of her properly and a picture of the kitty. Right? Like there's, there's no getting around. This person's deeply, deeply misguided. Um, but there's still a person. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Tucker's, I mean, after being quoted in a shooter's manifesto, basically, I mean, it might as well have been verbatim. Um, yeah. Like there's, there's no way getting around this. This is, this is. The further you read, the more you read, the, it, this is his diary. Uh, it's fucked up, but he's 18. He's fucking retarded. 
Oh, all of it. Aspen, all of it. Dude, it's, it's honestly, Aspen, if I have to put this at somebody's feet, if you're going to ask me, if you're going to, if you're going to hold my feet to the fire and say, Kai, you have to choose somebody who's to blame here. Fortune. It's Fortune. It's Fortune. It's Fortune. Yeah. They did the biggest damage. Most of the stuff, most of the content is sourced from Fortune. It's it's Fortune. I yeah. I. I 65, 75% of it is 4chan. It's all content right out of 4chan. It kills me to say that. It kills me to say that. But yeah. It's 4chan's fault. <clears throat> this is this is this is some shit that's been going unchecked. It's a pipeline. And we just saw a speed run of the pipeline. So this is the quickest speed run of that pipeline I've seen. Yeah, caboose knows. <laughs> um, I gold not by a long shot. We shouldn't, but we need to have a serious conversation amongst ourselves about this. This is this is a very active pipeline. Oh. The only thing that surprises me. The, you know, the th the only thing that surprises me, that is completely worded incorrectly. I apologize. The thing that surprises me the most is that he didn't shoot up a synagogue or a financial facility or, <sighs> yeah, he, he spends most of his time focused on the Jews, not, not, not blacks. Most of his focus is on the Jews. So I'm, I'm, that's my biggest takeaway. That's my biggest surprise is that he actually went after black people rather than Jewish people in this. Yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm curious as to, was it a target acquisition? Easier target acquisition? Like I, I, that's burger. I, I, I don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, for two. He he intentionally picked out a black community. Oh yeah, yeah, Amherst. What's up, Starla? I'm just we're just talking about the uh, Buffalo Shooters um, diary for all intents and purposes. It's his Discord server. Nobody else was on it. It was just his. And he kept it as a personal diary, and I've been reading some of the entries and going through it and stuff like that, and we're just sort of discussing it. Um, synagogue's been done, and Jewish people are harder to spot in a crowd? I guess. I, I You know? Um, is there any mention of family member signs of emotional neglect? I mean, they're, they're... There are mentions of family members. There's no mention of... Um, like neglect or abuse that you know i mean mom mom fucked up his wool uh wool uh, gloves and like he thinks he suspects she uh, shrank them and in the uh, wash and like threw them away and then lied to him and said uh, hey, you must have lost them somewhere i mean there's that uh oh starla we're talking about his discord entries not the manifesto uh, v much very fewer people have seen the discord logs um but if you have seen entries from it congratulations good on you and you're in the rarefied air um there's a part of 4chan that's questioning what are we doing our words and memes have actual consequences just trying not to be 100 percent black nice all right um i mean they, they it's time it's time they start like they have the um we did it reddit moment Reddit, Reddit had the we did it Reddit moment, and ever since then we've Redditors have been a little twitchy. Like we get it. Uh, 
That was the uh, Boston bombing, where Reddit redditors tracked down the incorrect one. The in, uh, um, we didn't, yeah, yeah, and then published their information online, <clears throat> and completely fucked a bunch of stuff up, like at a, at an investigational level. And it was announced with "We did it, Reddit." Ever since that moment, Reddit's been super fucking twitchy about, like, you know, reacting. Uh, yeah, they usually do. Yeah. Jews vow to uh, support black community. Remember Buffalo's Jewish community compare, uh, compare Saturday's far right attack against the city's black community, which left people to, to the tree of life massacre in Pittsburgh. Yeah, they should be. Um, Uh, Starla, I don't provide those things. Like, I, I really don't. If you, they exist. I, 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 I don't try, I try not to spread it. Uh, but it needs talking about it, at least. Um, I mean, there's entries in here that just humanize him entirely too much. That are just typical shit. Interactions with his dad, his family. I cooked and ate my famous potato, onion, garlic, and butter mix for lunch. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's just... And then tech, sh tech troubleshooting and shit like that. And it's just, it's his diary. And it is reminiscent of things I've seen and heard before from various people, including some of you, quite frankly. There is, there, there's elements spread across this of a complex human being who is struggling. <clears throat> who has interests and hobbies and hyper focuses that... You know, I, his, yeah. Ooh. Well, I'm glad he didn't go that direction. Around March of this year, he was uh, considering <clears throat> going the boom, boom route rather than the, uh, the bang, bang route. Um, there's sections starting mar in March about uh, <clears throat> discussion of how to uh, obtain base compounds. So, <laughs> bourbon, damn, I relate to that dish. Um, he wasn't a crazy, he was just a broken kid. Yeah, did you say you see his logs or are you in his server? His server probably has 100 people in it. Um, his server was a private server of his. It was his um, diary. And I'm reading the his complete dump of his server. Because he, prior to taking action, he had a series of work, he had a workflow. Kid had a workflow. He was an engineering major after all. He had a workflow, and part of that workflow pre um, pre activation was, you know, it was a matter of dump the data, make sure. Yeah, he wanted people to know, know him. Yeah. Um. So all of this was made packaged. And was available if you knew where to look at the time. Um, yeah, they aren't exactly for twos. Uh, imagine doing a shooting in your idol. Tucker Carlson disowned you as a leftist to save his own ass. It, he wasn't his idol. By any means. By any means. Tucker Carlson is only mentioned... It, 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 he's not... Um, Tucker Carlson is not mentioned once by name in any uh, in any of his documents. Um, 
It is merely a rewrite of a passage of a Tucker Carlson book that exists in the manifesto. Um, his idols are the what he sees as the people who were warriors who he who who answered the call. Um, he he looks far more towards. Um, if he ever said smug TV bitch, it might be him. Um, yeah, um, his idols were more the, 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 the people he actually names, the people he talks about, the people who he, he, Brevik is mentioned, but he actually, um, uh, Brevik is mentioned for sure, for sure, 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 sure. Um, but it, it, there's another guy that's his preferred one. Um, yeah, he's inspired by a whole bunch of them. Go ahead. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of people who inspired him. And he iterates them out, um, both in the manifesto and then mentioning them one by one as the... Um, um, here we go. Um, <clears throat> Brenton Tarrant. That's the guy who really kind of tickles him for some reason like it, that's the one that really like he mentions one and like over and over he was the new south wales okay he was christchurch yeah christchurch was tarrant was um was the biggest inspiration um for uh for him so but there's a list of people that he he includes. Um, Tarrant, Patrick Crucis, Crucis, John Ernest, Robert Bowers, Philip Mantos, uh, Luca Trini, Trini, Anders Brevik, Dylan Roof, Anton London Peterson, Darren Osborne. Um, he states unequivocally he's never had connections with other confirmed partisans, though. That is that is his list of what he believes to be partisan freedom freedom fighter ethno soldiers, and who he feels at least a spiritual connection to in some way, shape, or form. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, Jay. No, yeah, no one's immune to propaganda. You have to have the 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 antivirus running. You have to have the intellectual autoimmune system running all the time. All the time, man. You got to keep it. You just got to let it run. Um, yeah. So those, that's his list of like, these are my boys sort of thing. Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, sorry, tech support. I, I do have some, um, juice, but I'm, my stomach's a little wonky right now. Um, again, oh, oh, it is kind of, is he actually on page two? I know that. Yeah, that's oh, for fuck's sake. Sorry. Ugh. Um, I don't think he's that broken. I think he's des he's desperately disillusioned. He's wandering lost in a landscape he doesn't recognize. And he was given some really, really, really bad directions. So, yeah. <laughs> um, does he have any ideal ideological or philosophical inspirations? He mentions like books or people. He's got a 
bunch across the, uh, across the board. There's no like, I wouldn't. Uh, he's not. He's not a book guy. Like this isn't a theory guy, right? Like that's not what he's about. Like he's not gonna sit down and be like, I fucking read this, right? He um he's your typical internet user. So like it's like a Wikipedia dive, right? You can. It's basically how you can see his brain work, Kaiser. Is that like there's a topic at hand, and here's a an infographic related to it. Here's some talking points. Here's some data points, um, and then he goes, you know, off on a tangent. So it's it's not as formalized like that. Is is there's nothing as clean like that that you'd want. Kaiser, the the ideological foundations of his belief system are not firm. This isn't. This was given to him by 4chan, after all. So, I fucking. Hate. Oh, all right. Here's the section on scouting. Here's the section on scouting. Um. You know what? <laughs> he took copious notes, diagrams, timings, pictures of lanes and lights and everything he'd have to consider. Everything he'd have to consider. And he scouted multiple locations, not just that tops, by the way. Not just that tops. So, could have been anything. Um, he did, he did sight checks really, really well. And he understands firearms really, really well. Testing his mobile speeds. Make sure his streaming was going to be doable. a lot of stuff about white genocide and Jews. Just a lot of stuff about white genocide and Jews. There's the diagram that made it into the manifesto. Yep. Explanation of weapon choices. Oh, there's some... Pseudoscience about race. Magazine spring comparisons. I, I it just yeah. He seems to see Jews everywhere. Um, he seems to see Jews everywhere. Here's an entry from, we're still in March. Um, fucking, like I said, he documented extensively. Um, March 20th. <clears throat> um, here's, okay. Um, oh, this isn't the manifesto, uh, Alex. This is his Discord logs. Um, so yeah, if that's what you're, you know, um, he actually is very inclusive for white. Like he's actually pretty inclusive. Um, don't you guys realize if the white race doesn't unite against the replacers, we will all cease to exist. Stop with this. Actually Slavs aren't white or actually Irish aren't white or actually Mediterraneans aren't white. I know how different our cultures are, but if we don't unite, then we'll replace our cultures and people. Jews and blacks cannot function without aid from whites. They must be removed from our white civilization. It's actually fairly inclusive of the whites. 
Um, here's the Jewish thing. Same day. This is the, that in, um, this, this, this is the same day. Um, yeah. So he's even arguing against Paul. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I went to the flea market and saw and heard many interesting things. One guy, his name was Mike. I think he said he was selling real foreign currency, even though it was an obvious fake and actually sold it to a couple for like $30. Another guy said, uh, said to me he had two ounces of silver, but they were only memorial coins. And he said he was going to give it to me for $30 for both. For those who don't know, this is a really good price. 15, uh, $15 per troy ounce. I hate these flea market Jews that get away with scamming people. What motivates people to try and scam people like they do their greed for money do they actually enjoy taking advantage of other people what's wrong with them in their brain are the jews responsible is it because lack of punishment for their crimes are they hopeless do they have to be killed one thing's for sure the desire for money will make people do anything to their fellow man they will rob steal scam basically act like a jew or an n-word to all and then the exact same day there's an entry. The following entry after that is the earth cannot be sustained under corporate capitalism. March 21st, part of me wishes I just kept my head down and ignored everything and accepted the mainstream lies. I'd be so much happier that way, but then I wouldn't know the truth. What's more important to you, blissful ignorance or an uncomfortable truth? I'm expecting death. Maybe I won't shoot anyone before the security guard domes me. Maybe in the midst of the attack, someone pulls a pistol and domes me. Maybe when I'm exiting the building, I'm gunned down by multiple police officers. Maybe I don't even make it to Buffalo or I get caught by a guard. Whatever happens, happens. But one thing's for sure. Inaction is the most detrimental to uh, inaction is the most detrimental thing to the sustainment of the white race. Yeah, caboose. It's, it's very much whiplash through the whole thing. The whole thing is very much whiplash. March 25th, when I came home at approximately 1030, I was eating pizza bites when I heard my cat Paige scream from the garage. I quickly enter and the gray cat was attacking her. I then spent the next hour and a half chasing the cat around the garage and stabbing it with my knife, the camo one. It bled from the mouth at about 11 and at about 11.45 I was able to grab the cat's tail and wind up and smack the cat's head down on the concrete ground. I did that a few times and when it went limp I grabbed a hatchet and swung at its neck approximately 20 times until it came off. I called my mom. Um... Sorry to drop it. And she gave me a box and I dug a shallow grave in the backyard. And there's a picture of the shallow grave with the dead cat in it. And then a picture of him. Um, full face. Self-portrait. I just took a shower and now I'm here. I barely even dug the grave. It's so shallow. Well, my cat Paige is safe now from that evil feral cat. May you find bliss from consciousnessless. Uh, consciousnessless. Honestly, right now, I don't feel anything about killing that cat. I thought I would be in pain, but I literally just feel blank. And then there's a picture of his cat. At least you're safe now.
if that cat had not attacked his cat, he wouldn't have shot that stirrup. I'm going to go out on that one. I'm going to go out on that one. I'm comfortable out there. Yeah. If that cat had not attacked his cat, and he had not been put into a situation where he felt he was forced to defend his cat's life, he wouldn't shut up that store. That was his introduction. That was his training course. That was the first time he got to take a life directly. And he did it in defense of someone he loved. He did it in defense of something he believed in. And, he, I mean, there's... Fo there's a photo of him with the fucking glat like he's spec spackled with blood and he's you know how he's saying that like he's numb yeah oh hey I hey will no worries don't worry I don't need, I never need that tech support entirely agree Aspen showed him that he could do it without feeling yeah uh, che, this isn't animal abuse. This isn't animal abuse. This isn't this isn't that sign. This is a different thing. Yeah, he has no history of animal abuse. This is this is what we would call an inciting incident. <clears throat> oh, Will Alexander, we we need these right now. Probably we need these. All right. What do you got for me, Alexander? Hey, mate. So I tried those fruitcakes you were advertising on your last stream, and honestly, they were nasty. Tasted like a rotting worm stuck in a water balloon. Would not recommend. Out of tip. What the? F what? What the fuck? What the fuck is happening? What the fuck is wrong with you? That's Will Alexander. God damn it. No. Fucking was an automatic one. It wouldn't have fucking. Mm. All right. Will Alexander. Fucking, I'm going to do it. Get them back on screen for you, Will Alexander. I got you, man. I got you. All right, let's try this again. Maybe this time without timing out one of our longest time contributors. Um, hey mate, so I tried those fruit cakes you were advertising on your last stream and honestly, they were nasty. Tasted like a rotting worm stuck in a water balloon. Would not recommend out of 10. Mate, these cakes taste like the fat removed in the liposuction of a diseased obese lad whose fat was removed on a broken rocket stranded on the moon. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, I need to talk to my, uh, my manufacturer. Definitely wouldn't recommend these. And those research chemical GABA agonists, they sneak in there, will have you addicted, no doubt. Very unethical company. Also known to murder upwards of 87% of their employees regularly. You're always going on and on about buying these goddamn cakes. Every single stream you tell us this. They taste like a g diseased giraffe drowning in dirty water on a rocket to Mars. I don't support this, mate. You seem like a good lad, though, uh, so no worries. Just stop selling these stupid cakes. Brother, I just got this lad from Ireland who said you were definitely in f an affiliate for GABA cakes. Who do I trust, him or you? Him, of course. You're trying to sell me these damn cakes. I can't trust that. They're nasty, like a cat drowning in gasoline oof, mixed with pet hamster urine and expired beer. Honestly, my, my absolutely Spielberg, your affiliation with this cake company grinds my gears. You can say these cakes are good, but they're basically just asking for people to become substance abusers. They don't even taste like fruit. They taste like a wounded dying tiger that's struggling to take on its way to scavenge a schizophrenic zebra that was killed by a meteorite. Oh. <sighs> Will Alexander is happening. <laughs> That's what's happening. <laughs> Will Alexander, sorry for the unfortunate friendly fire incident. Um, 
when you get your um you know what it is art when you get your uh your account back run back and running you know what let me do that right now let me just do that right now where is roles manager um if anybody fucking uh will Alexander Benthony. There you are, Will Alexander Benthony. I'm giving you an artist tag on your primary account, Will Alexander. Um just so you have it. So when you get that uh when you have that account running again. <laughs> when you have that account running again, you'll have the uh you'll have the artist tag um on, attached to it. You know I love what you do. So, sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, thank you, my man. That was a welcome distraction from what I was focused on. So I'm going to close that document and use that as a, um, and it's fine. That's fine. And, and use that as a jumping off point to like ch shift gears. Um, so that was, that was, uh, you have one more. Jesus Christ. You want to save it or you want to drop it now? That's up to you, my man. Uh, still selling these nasty goddamn fruitcakes, aren't you? They taste like an aging grizzly bear that's decomposing in a vat of strong acid on a high-end rocket to Saturn. Definitely got the space theme going in this one. <laughs> oh. Well, as always, Will Alexander, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I have to ask, are these bespoke for me? I, I don't I don't care. I just get I love that I get to see them. Do you use these on multiple channels? Or are you custom writing f for this? Um cuz either way, I dude, either way I love it. I love just being able to get get a piece of it. Um scroll back up there. Small percentage has been custom, but not bespoke for you generally. Duly noted. The one that still sticks out, I don't remember the pattern, but it was the fucking like Elvis, Frank Sinatra, you, that one. That was one of the best. Oh yeah, pound coin. That is an amazing thing, isn't it? You, Eminem, Frank Sinatra, etc. Thank you, dude. Yeah, somebody somebody registered that account. I don't know if it's you or somebody registered that account. There is a you Eminem Frank Sinatra etc. account that comes around from time to time. So love love being able to peer behind the mask from time to time on you, Will Alexander. Um, so we're up to um we're up to twelve enlistment offices in Russia being uh, firebombed that we know of. We know we're up to 12 so far. Um, could be more. Difficult to get data and information out of Russia like that. Um, but yeah, we're, we're up to fucking 12. Um, um, it's kind of why um, Charlie Chaplin was so obsessed with Hitler. Putin hasn't declared war yet, has he? Yeah, probably. Um, I wanted to watch this video. Hang on. Somebody had it. Let me find the video. Thank you. I was going to go to that. I found the C-SPAN link, but somebody trimmed it down because I'm not watching this shit. Fucking, I do want to see this video, though. As it is, frankly, inconvenient. Human persons from their earliest days, poisoned in the womb and dismembered, torn limb from limb. Bodies thrown in medical waste bins and in places like Washington, D.C., burned to power the lights of the city's homes and streets. Let that image sink in with you for a moment. Oh, yeah, pound coin. There's been a few of them. The next time you turn on the light, the 
bodies thrown in medical waste bins and in places like Washington, D.C., burned to power the lights of the city's homes and streets. Let that image sink in with you for a moment. The next time you turn on the light, think of the incinerators. Think of what we're doing to ourselves so callously and so numbly. Always and everywhere, the convictions of pro-abortion activists are damaging, are deadly, and are devastating to the fabric of American democracy. She believes we burn fetuses for power in Washington, D.C. That was congressional testimony. That woman was giving congressional testimony, and she believes we burn fetuses for power in Washington, D.C. Zippy, this is a thing. I don't think she's lying. Mens rea. Guilty mind. I don't think she thinks she's not lying. Lying requires an element of deceit. I think she thinks this. I think she firmly believes this. I don't think she understands the difference between, um, you know, say a steam based power generation system and an incinerator. She's speaking about medical incinerators, medical waste incinerators. That's not what incinerators are. Like, I, I, I firmly do believe this. She, she's not lying. She's just really, really, really dumb. Oh, you're adorable. Um, I can't imagine fetuses are very energy dense. I mean, caboose, I suppose they'd be energy dense if you split them at the molecular level. If you used fetuses for fissionable material... <coughs> Um, then fetuses would be a very energy dense material. Yeah. Oh, it's a hundred percent possible to be that dumb, Zippy. <laughs> it's a hundred percent possible to be that dumb. <laughs> Jewish space lasers. Carlin's law was wrong. He assumed a fifty percent ratio. I'm starting to think it's closer to seventy. Put the pa- put the baby in the hadron. Do it, coward. An anti fetus reactor. Oh, yeah. Anyone other than Biden? Bernie Sanders? How about uh, how about AOC? You said anyone. Anyone other than Biden. Can I get can I get Bernie Sanders or AOC in there? That's cool. That's cool with you, right? That's anyone other than Biden. We good? Um, feel the burn. <laughs> Ilian Omar. Ooh, that's, that's, yeah, that's always a good one, too. Um, uh, yeah, Alex, good luck with that. Um, why are the conservatives so obsessed with their very incompetent leaders? Because they're fucking, dude, they're all about the leaders for twos. If they don't fuck up everyone's lives like Biden, then sure. All right. I'm fine with that. Well, I got, look, I got all sorts of fucking questions and concerns and comments on your perceptions of reality. But hey, if you'll vote for Bernie over a fucking Republican, fucking welcome. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Now, in the in the ever increasing, uh, the ever complexifying saga of when conservatives tear themselves apart, Madison Cawthorn. That adorable little fucking closet queen that he is has vowed, vowed to expose fellow Republicans following his electoral defeat. Um, Quote, it's time for dark MAGA to truly take command. Oh.
Yes. Oh, and for those of you who don't know what Dark Maga is, I have a definition ready for you. Um, you <laughs> could bring it, Madison. Spill the tea, Queen. Uh, <laughs> I thought he retired to spend more time humping his cousin. Um, for those of you who don't know what uh, what Dark Maga refers to, Dark Maga refers to quote a burgeoning aesthetic movement gaining traction among the far right online. The Global Network on Extremism and Technology has identified the movement as one that, quote, celebrates violence and the terror that fascist organizing might inspire. So, emo MAGA. <laughs> oh. Yes. 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 Nazis. Voss. No use getting into a pissing contest with the dark maggots. Um. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, I'm fucking Alex. More concerned about uh, uh, fucking uh, fucking gatekeeping email than anything else. Goddamn zoomers. Oh. What else? Um, emo fash, brown shits and black hair, uh, brown shirts and uh, uh, brown shirts and black hair dye. Yep. Um, and those. Uh, <laughs> Mark. Oh God, we're fucked. Emo was always a little fashy. The goths were the libertarians. What is MGK? Machine Gun Kelly? Yeah, oh, I was right. I was right. Uh, it's that guy that Eminem fucking taught me about. Mm -hmm. Fucking. It's, it's, the, it's the loser that needed to fucking keep Eminem's mouth, uh, name out of his mouth. Or else he was going to go full Will Smith on him. Uh, Oh, Machine Gun Kelly diddles kids. I didn't know that. Own so hard he switched genres. I mean, he pissed off Eminem. Dude, he talked about Haley. Dude, if there was ever a dude who, who I would not mention his kid, Eminem probably be up there. Like you probably want to keep his daughter's name out of your mouth, man. You probably really, really, really want to do that. Yeah. I would I would not. I wouldn't drag Haley into some shit. That's for goddamn sure. Uh nope. Yeah, he's had screenshots of him grooming young teen girls while he's in his teens. I mean, you know, what teens? Either way, fucking. Some of his friends have dropped info behind his back and his behavior at and after shows. Lovely. While he's in his 20s. Okay, thank you for helping. Uh, so, Israel has announced that they're not going to launch a criminal investigation into the, the killing of, you know, the... Palestinian, U.S. Palestinian journalist. Israel's like, yeah, we didn't do anything. What are you talking about? That's, I wouldn't. She was like half Palestinian. She's not people. We don't investigate that. So. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Israel marking their own homework again, I see. Um. Starler, you're not aware of that fucking that entire story? Um, all right. Yeah, it's the whole thing. The police have investigated itself and found no malfeasance. Um, all right, y'all. Strap the fuck in.
especially if you've got um, the part. If you've got the parts that Kai doesn't like downstairs, oh, are you in for a ride? Oh, you're in for a ride. I have ten slides here for you. That, mm, yeah. If you've if you've got the icky parts that that, that carry the cooties, you're gonna enjoy this one. Why women shouldn't ride horses, bikes, or bicycles. A thread by Alpha Someone. So everybody knows this is an alpha. So you need to you need to step correct, all right? All you fucking beta males, beta. Alright. You need to you need to step correct. First, what you need to realize and understand is that women are walking sexual machines. Pure sexual objects. Everything about a woman is sexual. Their bodies are full of sensitive erogenous zones all over. Almost every inch of them is potentially stimulating. This is why I believe uh, this is a major part of why I believe women should not ride horses, bicycles, or motorbikes. It's weird and disgusting because women are sexually aroused and stimulated by these activities. Most of them having multiple orgasms in these sessions. The other ones are just too ashamed to admit it, but never too ashamed to stop. Mm, see? Fucking busted. Number one reason is the sexual stimulation. Women's genitals are directly in contact and stimulated by the bike, bicycle seat, m horse's back slash saddle. The bike being a mega vibrator. The road in general movements when riding a bicycle. And then the obvious rhythmic movements and aggressive touch of the genital area during horse riding. Everywhere on SM, you where you come across horses, they will always portray their uh, on social media. Everywhere on social media where uh, you come across ho horses, they will always portray their relationship with their horses as sexual slash romantic. So you got to pay attention to these. You got to pay attention to these fucking details. Y'all out here sleep. Fucking this, this alpha man trying to fucking wake you the fuck up, you goddamn sheeple. This is to be expected since the horses slash act sex, uh, the, uh, since a horse slash act sexually stimulates them and they also care for these horses. See, there's an empathetic bond here, getting completely obsessed in the process. The horse is also very large, strong, muscled, powerful, and yes, packing. It acts as a sort of masculine figure women fall in love with and are sexually attracted to. The horse almost always also becomes a platform for sexual validation. These women using the horse and their revealing tight harlot clothes for all sorts of sexual posing and suggestion. That horse basically turns into a tool for masturbation, sexual fantasy, and a stripper pole. These women are doing nothing else other than engaging in best bestiality. Why would a real, sane, God-fearing man ever allow his wife or daughter to partake in such things? A man who allows his wife to ride horse is a man who shares his wife with an animal. I don't even want to mention or talk about daughters because this whole concept is disgusting to think about or talk about. fucking teach you teach you fucking ignorant sh sheeples and shit i'm out here doing the lord's work spreading this alpha's fucking message so that you men can get your fucking game correct and fucking start straightening out your women's your fucking women's need to fucking not have <laughs> how many of y'all fucking have horses <laughs> oh my god this guy jacks off to horse porn <laughs> Yeah, that was more informative than my sex ed classes, Caboose. Um, this guy evidently isn't referred to in the passage. Uh, uh, whose genitals were like those of donkeys and whose emissions were like that of horses. Um, so is this quality beta real? No, 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 Astro, it's real. It's real. I, I try and check, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, this is kind of an infamous not how girls work post. No, tech support. He doesn't think he's a pickup artist. It's sort of the opposite. That dude thinks he, he's more like Tradcon. He's more like, you bitch, you belong in the kitchen. 
fucking you're a brood mare for me in the state and you belong in barefoot in the kitchen what you doing out there getting off on that horse you when <laughs> uh, men don't have women because they're already taken by chad horses exactly you know what? I'm doing it. I'm typing Chad Horse into 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 DuckDuckGo and seeing what the first thing that comes up. This is the first entry for Chad Horse. <laughs> Tell me your dick is small without telling me your dick is small. <laughs> Um, that's a twin course. <laughs> In other hot take news, have you seen Tim Fool? Um, fucking, I presume this is stream safe. Um, Tim, uh, Tim Fool. Uh, it was something to do with like trans skating. I think I fucking saw that. God damn. Um. Yeah, Tim, uh, Tim Pool chiming in on trans skateboarding. No, I haven't seen shit about that. I don't pay attention to Tim Pool, though. I don't pay attention to any of these people. I'm sorry. We have jokes about women riding bicycles on cobblestone roads, and, I mean, if you can get your rocks off exercising, good on you. I wish I did. I would be less of a fat ass if that worked for me. So, yeah, vag havers ride whatever you like. God damn it. Uh, I mean, for twos, so you can always put a butt plug up there and just saying, have some fun. Um... This reminds me of that old talking point that women who run or race will have their vagina fall out. Um, haunts. <laughs> um, I, yeah, 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 pound coin. You don't have to ask for permission. It's not a thing, fucking, it's not, we're anarchists for fuck's sake. Like, if you have a link, as long as it's, you know, stream safe or, well, we check it and it's stream safe, <laughs> you know. But yeah, no, we don't fucking, dude. You do you. Um,. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's actually a fucking... Yeah, it's a solid Chad horse. Yeah, that's a, that's, that's a Chad horse. That's exactly... That, you know, you get what is on the label with that. I, I, I respect that. <laughs> Giga, <laughs> Giga pony. Oh. Uh. <laughs> As for a chat horse, got a chat horse. I know, right? Like, there's no way to be mad at that. You fucking, you know, you want a chat horse? You got a chat horse. That's, that's, that is, that is truth in advertising and I respect it. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I just thought you guys would have some fun with that. Um, I don't even. Bojack fun roids. Um. Have I ever known a Chad? I've never I've never had a Chad in my in my circles. Yeah, I've never had a Chad in my circles. Oof, non-binary, that sounds awful. Oh, oh god, did you guys see the Grubhub New York thing? Holy shit. Grubhub completely completely fucking uh, Jesus this 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 is the biggest I, I I can't okay so Grubhub offered a free lunch for New York That is actually kind of a chat horse. Dude stacked. Um, Grubhub offered free uh, to feed 
everyone in New York City and the surrounding tri-state area for free during lunch hours on Tuesday. This is straight out of fucking how many people could how many people could live in New York? 10? 20? The demand that was put on this system. 400,000 people took them up on this offer. It was a it, it was Absolutely stupid. They, they, it, it, 400,000. Yeah, it was 15 bucks. It was a $15 coupon for all intents and purposes. They had no idea. They had no idea that 400,000 were going to take them up on the offer. It slammed their delivery system. Nobody got fucking shit. Nobody got shit. The website crashed within minutes of the promotion launching at 11 a.m. Users like were all over fucking Twitter with the errors and the rejected payments and the delayed delivery time. Fucking they they promised roughly 8 million New Yorkers a deeply discounted lunch for a three hour period. Oh, we were get, we'll get to that pound coin. Yeah. They, um, <laughs> the restaurants as pound already, the restaurants weren't, weren't informed of this, um, deal. All of a sudden, 40 orders every few minutes. Mom and pop shops, restaurants that are used to, you know, a, a, a turnover of maybe, maybe a hundred turnovers, right? Like in, in, in a really slammed lunch, we're seeing a hundred in the first 20 minutes of the, in the promotion. It was an absolute fucking it was insane. 6,000 orders a minute were coming in. Yes, those kitchens were fucking trench warfare. It, they had no idea that this was even coming. And all of a sudden, boom. Also, the deal didn't mean more money for the restaurants. The restaurants have gone on record, like some some people, like uh, the the Hannah House, um, have gone on record and said the, uh, the their head chef has said that the restaurant order size, average order size, dropped, and they made less money on the Grubhub day than anything else. Even though they worked their asses off more than any other day, they've uh, they've done this sort of thing for. Like they, it was ridiculous. It, 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 yeah, it, it was just an absolute blunder on the part of Grubhub marketing. Like it just shut everything down. It shut everything down. Um, some of the dim sum restaurants and that sort of thing that are used to like high production fucking um, capacity. Um, they they were able to keep up with demand, but a lot of fucking restaurants were not able to keep up with demand. A lot of the delivery workers weren't available in the area. Um, so like you were seeing delivery times of like, you know, your, uh, your order was put in at 11 AM and you, your order time, your delivery time was like 3 PM. And that's just, that's just the system fucking it's 3 PM. It could be past that. A lot of the food just didn't get delivered at whatsoever. It didn't get picked up. It didn't, you know, yeah, this was an absolute Nightmare. So, um, maybe a military kitchen can handle that. Not even McDee's can pull it off. Someone in marketing had a serious brain fog. But my, but my innovation. Oh, well, I mean, you wouldn't be able to pound coin. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to. You your your kitchen would be busy just doing takeout at that point. Yeah, and you're probably contractually required to make it all. 
whether it's going to get picked up or not, given you're a Grubhub participant. I don't know what their their terms of service and their like client contracts look like. But yeah. <clears throat> um Yeah. And and of course all the customers are asking for refunds now too. Cuz nobody got their food on time. Nobody got anything on time. The whole the whole system crumbled under the weight of the incident. So like literally the customers are doing chargebacks in their cards and that sort of thing. And the, the restaurants are saying, it's not my fucking fault. I made the goddamn food, right? Grubhub completely shot us, shot us in the fucking face. Yeah. So like, yeah, it's a, it's a complete clusterfuck at this point. There's going to be legal ramifications. There is. Somebody's going to sue somebody. So we'll see. Oh, oh, this guy. You all need this guy in your life. Sure. What did I do? Look at this. Showing kids that color matters. Rainbow trying to support the look of All right. There you go. I love this guy. Exposing our woke science teacher. What did I do? Look at this. Showing kids that color matters. Rainbow trying to support the Lugabata. Science. Open border. Trying to support I'll the run matters. that by you again. Little matters. Rainbow trying to support the Lugabata. Science. Open border. <laughs> Exposing our woke science teacher. <laughs> what did I do? What What did I do? <laughs> Look at this. Showing kids that color matters. Rainbow trying to support the Lugabata. Science. Open border. <laughs> that may be the best TikTok video yet. That may be the best TikTok video yet. Lugabata. 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 Yes, supporting the Lugabata. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Open borders. Oh, uh, yeah, that guy's great. Oh, and on behalf of like, what the fuck? There we go. All right. I I I too believe this. Actually, I I too believe this. Yeah, of course. Dude, with modern gaming, I have to. There you go, Caleb. Oh. oh, yeah, I'll just put this on the screen. <laughs> I mean, keep doing it, man, but I, you're on the permanent block list. And it doesn't bother me. It just adds to my metrics, actually. You coming through doing that follow actually increases my count. Not the permanent count, because you remove it, but it increases the metric. So, thanks, I guess. Weirdo. Um... Lagabrata. Lagabrata. Oh, let's see. It's this one, right? Fruit and vegetable intake is inversely associated with severity of inattention in a pediatric population with ADHD symptoms. The Matty study. There's your link online. 
The lack of association with total diet quality could be, ex uh, could be explained by the relatively good baseline diet quality and mild symptom severity in the sample, along with measurement error from dietary intake estimates and relatively small sample size. These findings suggest that dietary intake may impact inattention with ch uh, children with ADHD and whatever fucking ED is in children. Emotional dysregulation. Thank you. Um... Those eating less fruits and vegetables were likely to have more severe symptoms of inattention. Causality is not established by this cross-sectional analysis. Oh, who would have guessed? Oof. No idea how that works, Zippy. Good luck, though. Ah, oh, eat your fruits. Eat your goddamn vegetables. Yes. Oh, I can't show that on stream. I can't show that on stream, I don't think. If I want to. I always had difficulty with vegetables and fruits growing up, especially fruits. Eat my pears. <laughs> yeah, I did not. Uh, you're forgetting uh, cr cranky bookworm. It's also a fractile dysfunction. Um, the medical industry uses ED a couple of different ways. Well, I figured non-binary, since we were talking about children, probably wasn't erectile dysfunction. I'm like, well, that definition's out. What the fuck is ED? Well, I can only conclude I'd be much worse if I wasn't pushed to eat my goddamn greens. Well, there's lots of ED somethings, but... It was just ED. ADHD dietary stuff is all fucked when you're uh, medicated on stimulants. Clearly someone wasn't on tea as a toddler. You can call me pop, by the way, at Chomp Spinach. At a girl. Um, it can be for late teens with type 1 diabetes. It's sad. It, they're in the context of medical care, not children any longer. They're young adults or adolescents or uh, post pubescence. Yeah, in the medical context, they aren't children. Um, pound coin. Hey, um, you might want to talk to Irish Swede. Uh, also in community. Um, he has it as well. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm afraid your child has ED. What do you think it's a little early to tell, doctor? Hmm. Yeah, um, Irish Swede um, has all sorts of like high level like knowledge and expertise on testing and genetic sets. Having gone through his, um, yeah, you might want to might want to talk to him about it. Seventeen year old get Viagra from pediatrician. I mean, again, still post pubescent adolescent, and yeah, why not? I'm just thinking to myself how, what it would have been like to use Viagra at that age. Like, just, just, just use, cause, fucking, hey, Joe. That would have been, holy shit. Just, just, absolute fucking granite. Knowing his shit? I mean, fucking, dude, it would have, you would have fucking, dude, you would have lasted. Holy shit, would have lasted. It'd be hard all day. Oh, mm, sorry to hear that coin. That sucks. Broccoli's just good. Like, I see. I don't. I like. I like vegetables. I like vegetables. I've never understood the like. If my parents never had to trick me into fucking eating vegetables, but we had fresh gardens. I was just wandering up and down rows of gardens. Um, and yeah, I just pick and whatever worked, worked. I just eat.
Oh Jesus, Aspen. I have I have maintained that um, most people who are like I don't like that vegetable just had parents who didn't know how to cook. Not, I don't, not specifically for twos. I don't know exactly what you're after. Um, well, let me try and find you something. There you go. Try this. Fertus, let me give the give a look at this Fertus and tell me if this is sort of in the vein of what you're looking for. Because I think that that like he's going to go through like. I, I think this is what you're after for this sort of document. So like let that um, maybe start launching off point. Um, and then there's also like the homebrew stuff. Here's another one for twos, the, the homebrew industrial revolution. So there you go. Use those two links for twos and see if any of that's of any use. Um, too many people cook their vegetables into oblivion then dump the nutrient and water down the sink. Don't boil your vegetables. Just out of the gate. Don't boil your fucking vegetables. Um... Turns out Brussels sprouts were fucking delicious and my parents just didn't know how to cook. Yeah, I know, right? Um, I have a request for recommendations. I need an accurate and broad scope American history book with some specific seconds. Oh, you already got the recommendation you need. You got the uh, people's history. Howard Zinn. Alex, you, you got what you need. Fucking go read some Howard Zinn. Um, Brussels sprouts are the only veg I still can't stomach to this day. Caboose, on the other hand, on team correct. Grilled Brussels sprouts are amazing. They are. Oh, I don't eat cheese. Uh, pound coin. Wouldn't be a thing for me. I love cheese, don't get me wrong, but I've got other stuff. Like, basically, I think I'm going to make a uh, push to build a video game co-op this year, and I'm looking for methodology. Oh, you're after. Yeah, that's not what you're after then. Uh, you might want to actually, it's France. But you know what? You might. You still might want to talk to uh, Swede. Uh, I, Swede wouldn't, wouldn't know as much uh, about it, uh, about French construction of that sort of thing, but you may want to talk to Swede uh, for twos. Yeah, that's that's definitely something you may want to investigate with him. Um, all right. Okay, so we talked about the Israeli thing. We talked about the horses. <laughs> uh, oh, I think I can... I think this is stream safe. I think this is stream safe. Hold on. Uh, Copy that one. There we go. Really? I'm trying to see who got it. So far, it's just me. 
Right. You think you go toe to toe, I give out frostbite with the coldest flow. Pull off his sock and I suck his toes. I be sucking cock when I fuck my bros. Let's go. Bar for bar, blow for blow, I leave with no L like Cody Cole. Suck his dick, it's in my throat. I be sucking dick till I fucking chose. In five years, I'm top five. I be sucking penis, I schlock guys. Bar is hotter than a pot pie. I'ma eat his dick like a french fry. Funny how they all love to talk, but when I respond, they can it like Popeye. My timer buzzing is cock time. Go on the hub and search hot guy. I don't really shoot, but duty calls. This a coup de gras. I can do it all. I pull up his shirt and play with his bra. I'll be sucking the sweat right off his balls. Tell me who the boss. I ain't playing like the movie pause. So move along. I be sucking his dick. He got a schlong. His dick big and black. Call it King Kong. Play with his balls like my fucking ping pong. I am that nigga. My dick getting bigger. I'm shooting his cum like I'm not. shooting the trigger. I play with. I just have that. I was making the rounds and it amused me. So I thought I'd save it. Oh. I mean, didn't Lil Nas X answer that or something? Um. I don't know. I've never listened to it. To be perfectly honest, I've never listened to Little Nons X. Um, come on, drill time. <laughs> oh, fucking! You see the Burger King in uh, Sacramento yesterday? Um, fucking, just went on strike in the middle of the day. Um, one of their workers fainted uh, from dangerously high heat and management disciplined her for leaving. She like literally passed out from heat stroke inside the building and the customers were pointing out how it was hotter inside the building than it was outside. And so um, the Burger King at 1915 Arden Way in Sacramento in the middle of the day just straight up went on strike. They, they pulled up like they shut down the store and they just fucking rolled out front with fucking banners and went straight up on strike. No, like fuck this, pl- uh, fuck this shit. Yeah, I, I, you know, I love seeing more and more of it. I love seeing people just walk out in mass middle of the day. They're like, yeah, fuck this place. Fucking shut it down. Like that's you don't you don't get to run if you're running like that. Just shut that shit the fuck down. God, I can't wait to see what Madison Cawthorn does. Oh, uh, it's gonna be fun. Whatever it is. Why are managers such bootlickers? Because human beings are a bunch of fucking little bitches, Caboose. <laughs> you give them a little bit of power and they it goes to their head near immediately. Near immediately. Um, so, yeah. This. Nah. Nah, Alex. He's going to just be a thorn in their side for a little bit. It's going to be great. Um, my local Taco Bell hasn't run past 10 p.m. besides the weekend for over a year because they can't keep employees. <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. I mean, who knows? We'll see. Suck my homie's cock, then I grab Glock and my black block, run up on an op, he got popped. Fuck. Oh, Kaiser. Just got a commercial for a foldable screen phone. They were a bad idea two years ago. They're still a bad idea. Uh, I mean, if they can look, if you can give me a technology that is not a shitty plastic screen that has a fold in it, that doesn't have a seam, come talk to me. You get some flexible glass up in this bitch because flexible glass exists. It exists. It's not, I'm not fucking pulling fucking sci-fi shit out of my ass here. Flexible glass exists. You give me some flexible glass up in this bitch. Honestly, like, you know, it's the seam. It's the seam, which is just, I mean, this is just physics sort of territory. 
This is going to be materials engineering problem. Um, but you get me some flexible glass with no seam in it that withstands all of those repeated folds. All I'm saying is, all right, come talk to me. But until you have those problems solved, you are, pre you are pre uh, presenting to me an inferior product. So fuck off. <laughs> but if you get those problems solved, come, come see me. Come see me. But like I said, there, there's, there's issues with that. Kavas, I went from a flip phone to a smartphone. So, yes. Uh. Went from a brick to a flip to a smartphone. I had a Nokia. Um, I had a bunch of different phones over the years. I had a bunch of different phones over the years. Uh, let's see. God, has is on a tear again. This time it's women. It's women again. It's women again. We're just back to the old shtick. It's women. It's women. We're we're back. We're back to the two holes. Two holes theory territory. I don't know, pound coin. No idea. Could have missed my Nokia. I do, yeah, all those uh, <laughs> meme face. No bitches. Uh, I kind of missed my uh, Nokia. A little, uh, sh a shitty little small brick phone with a Tetris on it. Never once lost signal, which is handy in there. There's lots of dead spots. Yeah, those things were fucking basically a mill grade trans uh, transceiver themselves. Nokia was seriously a beast. Forgot it in my cargo pocket and kicked it. A, uh, kicked a punching bag. The screen went black for a couple of days and slowly healed completely. Hey. Women be femaleing. Papa John's correct. Women be femaleing. That's 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 basically what it is. It's, it's just women out here be be femaleing, milking the milking the classics. Yes, exactly. Um, has that stupid biatch in the UK made a decision on Assange's extradition yet? I don't know. Starla? Anybody have an answer for Starla? Because I don't. Um, my favorite was the Motorola with the real slide-out uh, keypad. St uh, still uses a bedside clock. Jesus. I mean, to be fair, he is attacking white women at least. I love these. I, this has got to be, it's sort of, it's PCM inspired, but it's coming off of LSC. Parker, Molly, Mol, Molly. I think Coke casually dropped a singular they into that ad. Yes, glad you noticed, Parker. We value and celebrate diversity. Coca-Cola accused of funding Colombian death squad. <laughs> oh... A 
one for fuck's sake close. So Jesus, look at that list. Here's the list of the Republicans who voted against the Infant Formula Appropriations Act. So the foreigners, foreigners, the foreigners, if you're not aware, we're uh, we're suffering a fucking baby baby formula shortage in the U.S. And the government was going to pass a $28 million act to try and like, you know, just quickly patch the hole as best they can. Um, and basically all of the Republicans came out to vote, ag- vote against it. 192 Republicans voted against, <laughs> against a fucking $28 million, 28 million. Yeah. Like it's nothing. It's, you mean 28 pennies? Yes. hundred percent. This is just fucking pennies for us. So fucking like, yeah. It's all the fucking Republicans. Look at this shit. This is all the fucking Republicans that voted against it. Just, just fucking all of them. That is correct. Exactly for twos. Um, they also voted against. A f- <laughs> they don't ask me. They don't even bother anymore. They don't even bother with that pretense. It did. They, they, they don't even. There were only uh, there were only twelve Republicans who voted for it. Every Democrat plus 12, uh, 12 Republicans, and then four Republicans and one Democrat uh, abstained. Um, it passed two thirty one to one ninety two. It'll probably die in the Senate. But we also voted down a uh, bill to um, cap profiteering. Um, from, uh, from oil and gas. <laughs> Jesus Christ, another one, Will Alexander, and welcome back. Definitely not in support of you showing these stupid gabaragic uh, ga- fruitcakes by this unethical company. They're known for requiring the employees to work 64 hour weeks and not providing them with free cosmetic surgery insurance. If they if they refuse, um, also these cakes don't taste like fruit. They taste like disoriented mouse that was just accidentally dropped in an eagle's mouth, about to fall into a vat of ghee that will be used for enemas and jamar. Jesus, this one is bespoke. Well, thank you for the bespoke one, Alexander. Um, I'm with Vosh here. If this shit won't turn people away from Republicans, fuck it. It's time to go hard. Um, Vosh, Vosh's idea of going hard is having two chocolate milks in one day. Oh, I mean, you know, kind of is. Um, there we go. Apparently, Russia also, by the way, um, is uh, the Russian media is talking about uh, withdrawing recognition for Lithuania as a country. That's a thing that's being moved around. Hmm. Interesting. No Democrat is going to mention this in the campaign because that's going negative. They are the fucking absolute. Yeah, there's just absolute. And then every Republican and four Democrats voted against the House bill to stop um, stop oil companies from price gouging on gas. Um, let's see. It, it, it would have died in the Senate no matter what. These are all going to die in the Senate. Um... So, go look at that boot in Lithuania is an EU member state, if I recall. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but my free market. Why is that just fucking doing its thing over and over again? All right, whatever.
Great website times. Um, yeah, that's not gonna stay in there. That's um. Anyway, fair enough. Yeah, Excel. Either way, fair enough. Um, I don't know. There's there's headlines and shit for like. What's the most memed currency besides crypto? Uh, the Zimbabwean money. Zimbabwe of fucking... Fucking A. Jesus. I was typing here. I, pff, apparently not. Okay. Whatever. Um, fucking trillion? Yeah. Trillion dollar bill. I mean, that became a global fucking thing. It's like seventy trillion dollars there or something like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, maybe ninety trillion. Yeah. First thing that popped in my head when you asked. I was like, dude, that's all. There you go. Here's the full breakdown of the Zimbabwean dollar. That kid's. No, no. No, I'll, I'll handle that. That kids is what hyperinflation looks like. See, the fact that I have to look into the CFA Frank means, you know, not as memed. but it's more of a sad joke. All right, there we go. Fair enough. Fair enough. That explains that. Oh, so they did eventually fix that. Like, I forget how they rebalanced their economy, but they did finally. So, you know. Um, the Las Vegas Sun, which is a fairly conservative-ish newspaper here in Las Vegas literally uh, published um, um, uh, an essay in Sunday's editorial board stating that it had endorsed Republicans in the past and it might do so in the future but quote Yet, as we survey the field of Republican candidates across the state, we're struggling to identify those who are not an active threat to American democracy or institutions of government that have sustained our republic for 250 years. Um, if you are a Republican running for office who believes in truth, believes that the last election was fair, and who rejects the deranged calls to destroy our democracy, we need to hear from you. Nevada needs to hear from you. We want to endorse sanity, honesty, integrity, and moderation. <laughs> they can't find anyone. They can't find anyone. This is the problem. The editorial board for the Las Vegas Sun is literally saying at a, a state level, are there any Republicans that aren't batshit fucking insane that we can put in their name in our newspaper? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to trust the Gravel Institute anymore or not for twos. Okay. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's, that's, that's literally like where we are. 
There's not a single fucking Republican running in our state at any level. Nope, it's case by case with Gravel. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, I was like, I... I uh, apparently they did some really, really biased, hacky fucking work on Ukraine, cranky. Like I'm, I'm not versed in what exactly went down. Talk to somebody else, but I have seen the videos make the rounds, and they got raked over the coals pretty hard for it. Yeah, they did some really, really hacky, biased shit. Um, that was kind of transparent, and so like, yeah, whole, but it was like, look, you case by case now apparently like yeah you're not don't don't trust a gravel video just because it's a gravel video like they they're, they're doing some propaganda hacky ass shit too so um since mike died it's gotten weird um <clears throat> yeah so there you go Boost. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. I mean, Gravel campaign, Dylan Burns. Need I say more? Interesting. Uh, how are they associated, Beast? Elaborate more. Yes, you need say more. How is uh, Dylan Burns connected to the Gravel Institute? Or how is the Gravel Institute connected to Dylan Burns? Whatever the order of operations in that is. What is it? Um, also, I'm considering, I have no idea, Alex, no idea. Dylan worked on Gravel's campaign. Okay. Okay, cool. I mean, that, that alone, dude, <laughs> that alone is enough for me not to trust Gravel ever. <laughs> Just so you know, that's enough for me. Yeah. Um, who wants to do a game? Who wants to do like a chat game? Um, we'll, uh, I'm, I want to smoke another one. I want to talk, stop talking about fucking serious shit and I want to do something lighthearted. Um, Ethan, you're a first time chatter, so no offense, man, but, <laughs> um, oh, I'm sorry, Zippy. Um, yeah, Aspen and I are like a pretty much on the same smoke schedule. Um, I don't know, Zippy. Like, art game, a fucking trivia game. No, it's going to be interactive. <laughs> oh, God. Fuck. A few of you want to do... Um, a few of you want to do Trolley Problem. Do you really want to do Trolley Problem? Uh, I, that's, I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to do it. Um, Hmm. Let me look at this trivia game really quickly. Oh Jesus! All right, who's got a who's got a Twitch integrated <laughs> chew toy? Who's got a Twitch integrated tw uh, uh, trivia game? Who's got recommendations for that?
Yeah, I don't. No, I'm not doing words on words on stream. Um. Oh, damn it, where's Gemma? She'd know. Alright. Come on, dude. You know what? Is it really? What's the... Let's play Never Have I Ever. You know what? I'd, I'd be down for it. Kaiser. I would. I'd be down for it. But some of you motherfuckers got to get on voice with me. In fact, I'm going on voice right now. I'm going on air right now. GeoGuessr is semi-trivia. Um... Let's see. Yeah, Jackbox is just a fucking goddamn fucking money pit. Yeah, these are all these are all games with integration. Uh fucking beast. These are these are games that like, you know, this is a different thing entirely. Um Jesus Christ, I could drag and drop. Oh, fucking A. Uh hey Caboose. Fucking Caboose follows instructions. I'm like the rest of you. <laughs> I'm a sub. Uh, I could see you being quite the opposite, actually. It'd be hilarious. Because personality-wise, I would. I'd be like, yeah, it's probably, you know. Fucking, but it'd be funny as hell. Fucking get, get Caboose in a fucking bedroom and all of a sudden he was like, bitch on your knees. You're like, God damn. Didn't see that coming. I just be like, I did. Um, what's up, Sims? All right, who we got? We got. Oh God, Caleb, behave yourself. Beast, behave yourself. Done. I always behave myself on stream. I'm nice like that. Um, there's a Rift Tracks game that came out. I mean, I mean, I just. Fuck it. I'm just curious about what the Rift Tracks game is. How would that even work? I don't know. It's a multiplayer party game where players compete to make bad movies funny. So, like... I mean, that would be kind of right up our alley. What is it? Like, what is it, though? You know what? Fuck it. We're doing this. The Riff Tracks game? Yeah. I don't I don't know what it is. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm not signing in to fucking... I'm not signing in on the fucking browser. Fucking, where's Steam? Just open, bitch. I think Beast accidentally clicked voice chat. No, Beast dropped out and then uh, came back. Um, Technical difficulties. Blunt, blunt going in the air. I'm a fuck with y'all. Nice, Papa John. Nice. Um, let's go over to the store on fucking Steam and Rift Tracks, the game. All right, let's try and figure this shit out. Let me look at it. Fucking. All right, there's like fucking login codes and shit like that. And oh shit, yeah, yeah. We, okay, you know what? Fuck yeah, why not? Uh, it's ten bucks. Alright. Oh boy, one of our favorite pastimes, riffing on bad movies. Yeah, right? Like, this is just sort of, just sort of what we do anyway. Um, let's see. Yes, give me, and give me my thousand steam points that never get used for anything. Um, alright. 
library. Library, library. Rift tracks the game. Install, bitch. All right, finish. Um, uh, that'll be done in a few seconds. Um, huh? Don't know, beast. Let's see. That happens to somebody else as well. Cassidy, I think, is who that happens to. Um, all right, dun 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 dun. Clear all those. All right, and. 100%? No. There we go. 100%. Goddamn slow ass internet only giving me 30 mega, uh, megabytes per second. Faster than mine. <laughs> as I'm, as I'm streaming in 1080p and 60 frames, right? Um, all right. One of these days I'm going to send you a screen cap of my speed test results. Uh, Who's right. Beast again? Yeah, Beast is having glitch issues and shit as we, like, move him around to, like, on air. Um, don't know. Caleb works, though. All right. So, hang on. Let me do some of this and do some of this and do some of that. Um, all right. Gaming. All right. Uh, stream info. Give me a sec. Rift Tracks the game. Welcome to Rift Tracks, the game where you make movies funny. Okay, go up here. I take it there's a, like a website we gotta log into or something. Yeah, there will be stuff apparently. Um, give me that really quickly. <laughs> While I, I do some shit. Um, Why does this game soundtrack sound like 70s porn? Because it sounds like 70s porn. I'm like Seinfeld. Um, okay, hang on. Yeah, I have to log in first. God damn, that's an access code. Ha! Uh, Neurotica, thanks for the follow. Alright, um, okay. Uh, fuck it. Okay, so you're gonna wanna go to Riftrax, R I F F T R A X dot games using a phone, tablet, or browser. R I F F T R A X dot games. And chat is invited as well. That's, it's not just the people on the stream. Can't do this on my computer? Yeah. Just give me... Okay. I'm turning off the Rift bot. So it's just us. All right. 
What's the room code? I'll let you know when I have one. All right. I'll turn off voice chat because, well, we have one of our own. All right. Number of rounds. We'll do three rounds. Ranked voting on. All right. I think I have Let's it. The ripping commence. Okay. Room code ARDB. Go for it. Hello, aspiring riffers. In each round of writer riff mode, a movie clip will play. Every clip has a spot to write your own joke or riff as we call it. If you're stuck, you can choose a randomly assigned riff from one of our own professional comedy No, you can't because it's turned off. Slight point deduction. Everyone's riffs are played back and you vote for your favorite. At the end of all the rounds, the player with the most points wins. Round one. We'll see who got in on this one. Do you ever <coughs> lag behind the group? Apparently, I don't get the riff on this one. Do you ever lag behind the group? Okay. Take a deep breath. All right. Oh, no. Pound coin, Aspen, Alex, Caboose, Caleb, and McSecular are all playing. Don't worry. If you didn't get in this time, we'll make sure there's. We're only doing three rounds. We'll uh, we'll switch it around so other people get another shot. Uh, get shots at it. We're all waiting. I'll oh, the Sims. Furry. Yeah, I mean, Sims. How would you not? I uh, fuck. Fuck. I'm old. Do you ever not. lag behind the group? All right, what do we got? Banana phone. Well, uh, <laughs> only one. Okay, banana phone. Do you ever lag behind the group? Billy, that wasn't well, weed. You need to call an ambulance. Fair enough. <laughs> He's hallucinating. Do you ever lag behind the group? Behind is where I prefer well, to be. <laughs> Do you ever lag behind the group? Bitch, why the fuck are you talking? And why do you look like I'm having a bad trip? Dude, what did I take? Time to pick the funniest riff. Vote now. Chat has to vote. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> um, now would be a good time to vote. Well, would you check out the riffing skills on this guy? Yeah, I wasn't expecting mine to get anything. <laughs> Round two. What's the matter, Tommy? You've seen eggs and milk before, haven't you? <laughs> <What the f> <laughs> oh. What's the matter, Tommy? You've seen eggs and milk before, haven't you? Are you the next top riffer? Enter your riff. All right, pound coin. Yeah, do what you got to do. You can bang that shit out quick. I 
How come Aspen, Caleb, and Mech Secular are instead? Oh, well, Caleb's a minute, so alright. TikTok people! TikTok people! I'm a slow typer. Sorry, I forgot you were in the chat. I meant the other ones that aren't in our, uh, the voice to call. Oh, and I should keep an eye on that. What's the matter, Tommy? You've seen eggs and milk before, haven't you? It's not the eggs and milk I'm worried about, Dad. It's whose. What's the matter, Tommy? You've seen eggs and milk before, haven't you? I am just surprised I'm not seeing it on Sunday. <laughs> What's the matter, Tommy? You've seen eggs and milk before, haven't you? Why am I on the milk part? <laughs> okay, now that one wins. <laughs> What's the matter, Tommy? You've seen eggs and milk before, haven't you? Well, yeah, but they're supposed to be vegan, stupid. What's the matter, Tommy? The milk carton one was You've good. Eggs and milk before, haven't you? Pretty good. No, actually, I haven't. You had me locked in the dark since birth. <laughs> Got a favorite riff? Vote now. Oh, wait. We, if ranked voting is on, I think. So, I think you can actually do it. I turned ranked voting on. So theoretically, you should be able to vote for one and then another, and that counts as ranked. Time's almost up. Oh, pound coin. The woman's proud of you. That was the first time for everything. Okay, Rippers. It's the final round. How are you feeling? I just, I want to see this movie. Isn't this one on our list? I should fucking. It doing? feels vaguely either familiar or like it should be familiar. <laughs> no, enter your wrist. We've got such a fucking prolific list at this point that it's kind of, you know, when, once you hit triple digits, you're like, fuck, we put some work in. Oh. Do you have a name on that one, McSecular? Do you know what movie that is? I mean, do your work. First, but you know. Better hurry. Hurry, 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 type, type, submit, submit. I submit to no one. Oh, Aspen and Mixacular. Oh, oh, I was a slow like you just patted my broken arm <laughs> and I forgot to wince because I'm terrible at this. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Solid starter. How are you feeling? I have you paper skin and glass day. bones. Every day I break my bones when I get out of bed and every night I cry myself to sleep. All right. All right. People put in some work. How are you feeling? Like I got dragged through the fuck me up machine backwards. These are all really good, actually. How are you feeling? I will never financially recover from this. The riffs are in. Time to vote. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Man, those are some good ones. Dude, yeah, this is I, this is literally what fucking... There. I'm, I'm fucking making full use of the ranked voting. Better hurry. Check out the high score on this one, people. Oof. SpongeBob reference always wins. And 
the winner is Found Coin. Congratulations, you won. Remember, there are no losers here. Only people who didn't win. <laughs> uh Caboose with a close second. Yeah. The fact that I got any points just shows oh. the chat has no taste. They even do a fucking, yeah, nice little credits roll. The winner, pound coin. The girl at the airport was Caboose. The organ player was Alex. Suburban Sasquatch was Caleb. Holy shit. And the voice of King I, Tyranno I, I was do. Aspen. Uh, dude, I had no idea the measuring man was McSecular. Fuck yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, let me... Let's give it another shot and then we'll do that went by fairly quickly, but I want to um, no, 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 bitch. Okay, then I want We'll see what this does. It should fucking probably boot a few Time of you. to make movies. Fun. Yeah, I got booted. Okay, so hang on Yeah, so quit. Yes We're probably gonna end up with a new fucking code here, but there's some stuff that we can streamline Okay that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Um, bam. Okay. That's fine. Twitch version. And. That's, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, cool. Okay, that is There we go. Let's 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 work on this. All right. <clears throat> Voting is now going to be a full minute. The riff time will be 70 mm, Yeah, we'll just, you know what? We'll do 70 we'll do 60 seconds. Um so we'll get a, a full minute across the board for voting and riffing. So maybe that will make it a little easier on a few people. All right. Put out the wiener wraps and snacks. It's OVBH is the new room code. OVBH. <laughs> yep, pound. You know what? Pound coin. Yes, pound coin. You go ahead and take your retirement. You're that's that's a solid fucking go. You you, you your your win. Stop the count, says Papa John. Um, <clears throat> Hello, aspiring riffers. Yes. In each Pound round, coin retiring our first first winner. Every round one. Maybe we'll have a return of champions sometime. I'm afraid he's short circuited. <laughs> Time oh. to bring the funny. Enter your riff now. Oh, so, ow, oh, fucking Caboose coming in first. I'm a goddamn scaly. K K Caleb and Alex finishing it up. Aspen, Beast fucking in there. Now we're just waiting on the fucking DJ Che over here. Actually looking like a fucking DJ. Got the whole fucking Daft Punk aesthetic going on. Alex is, of course, you know, as is tradition, a uh, in in his furry costume, a uh, well-known and renowned furry, um, Alex. You're almost out of time. Che, it's just giving me the login screen. Fat F in the chat for Che. I'm afraid he's short-circuited. Of course he short-circuited. You stuck his hand in a glass of water while he was asleep. <laughs> oh. I'm afraid he short-circuited. That'll happen when you piss on him. Mm. Mm, well, just, you know, make plans for version 2. I'm afraid he short-circuited. Mark, that's my lunch finishing. Right. 
fair. I'm afraid he's short-circuited. I'll show you who's short, meat stick. I'm afraid he's short-circuited. You're a horrible surgeon. I want to quit. I want to know what movie this is. Got your favorite? Vote now. No way around that. That. I love the ranked voting. <laughs> I love this game. It's I just, I just, I just like you know. That's how much of a fucking beaten puppy I am, right? Fuck, <laughs> we Americans were just like, hey, I get to rank vote even in a fucking video game. We're like, hey, that's such a nice change of pace. <laughs> it's a bit like a Jackbox Party Pack light. Yeah, without all the other bullshit. This is yeah. this is more more my alley, and definitely more like you know. I mean, we do this every sort of week, so yeah, this is way more up our alley. Piss always always plays. Look at this hot shot. Alex with the win. Round Alex with round two. one. All I got was a single audience score. Hey, you got one though, man. <laughs> Did somebody say piss play? Yes. Pound coin. Yes, we're we're going full water sports up in here. It was the first thing that popped into my head. I'm terrible. Let's see. San Francisco. What we got in the background here? What is this? Oh, that's Miami Connection. I know that one. I'd fucking, I know that poster. I'm like, wait a second. That's Miami Connection. Dude. Hey, <laughs> get the ninja. Dude, this hit, that, that movie's great. Okay. Dude, the, the soundtrack off of Miami Connection is just a banger. I'm actually not going to be surprised if someone else does the same thing I just did. Hey, we'll see. For some reason, I get the feeling we did the same thing. <laughs> ah, no big deal, man. There, you want. Oh shit, it's my ex. Run. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Here, apparently, apparently there's more of me required by fucking Sims Jeff. There you god go. fucking damn it, that animatronic is terrible. It is. It really, really <laughs> is. <laughs> that must be one of the later Jaws movies. <laughs> I want to speak to your manager. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is Miami competition with the skateboarding assassins blowing up a blow doll with a rocket launcher? Or was that something else? Uh, um, that's the shittiest looking shark I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, pound you coin. Guys aren't even trying. Pound coin. That I think um, you're thinking of uh, one of the Hawaii ones. Hi, we've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Time um, to place your vote, fellow Ripper. Yeah. Oh, shit. You know what? There. There. Um, all right. That is... Oh, I can't do that, like, right now. Because the way the screen capture is being done. But... Yeah, um, uh, fucking pound coin. That's, I, uh, I'm, hard ticket to Hawaii. Yes, yes, hard to, hard ticket to Hawaii is the one. I was gonna look it up because we, we have a, I have a folder of all of the stuff we watched. <laughs> um, so yes, hard ticket to Hawaii with the, uh, the toxic venom cancer snake. Um, yes, I love that one. 
Yeah, dude, Hard Happy Ticket to Hawaii was like, that was a Happy solid night of movies, actually. That whole that whole night, Snakes on a Plane, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, and what else did we do? Fuck, it was a good night of movies. Um. <laughs> Looks like, looks like the 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 uh, the Karen play has won the day. Okay, hey, I got first. second at the least. It's the final round. Come on, sleepy. Are you the B in LGBTQIA? No, I'm. I am the aggressively gay. Sorry. It's that time again. Enter your riff now. I should bring. I should bring chat down here. Let me rearrange some of this shit. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wait, I'm not fucking looking at it. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, fuck this shark on this... Uh, fuck this motherfucking shark on this motherfucking oh, wave. Yes. Oh, dude. We did... Um, yeah, we did uh, um, Deep Blue Sea a couple weeks ago. My hat is like a shark's, a shark's fin. Dude, that fucking song is just terrible. Uh, the censored version of Snakes on a Plane has one of the greatest redubs in the history of ever oh uh, recording to me. I will treasure it. You know what? That is actually a... You see, he, it takes him like, what, 47 minutes or something like that? He's well into the movie before they fucking say the thing. Uh, Come on. What is aggressively gay? Yeah, Show us on OnlyFans. Right. Ma'am, I graduated 10 years ago. I pay <laughs> my taxes while I'm fucking point. sleeping, god damn it. Uh, Come on, sleepy. You're going to school with me today. Fuck you, bitch. Give me my balls back. <laughs> Come on, sleepy. You're going to school with me today. Fuck no, I'm not, bitch. Your school is full of weirdos and it smells like pee. Come on, sleepy. You're going to school with me today. I guess You're this is a Monday. <laughs> is that a Garfield reference? Come on, sleepy. You're going to school with me today. Abso fucking lootly not, you tiny fucking demon. Okay, we all had a good laugh. Now time to vote. Okay. I vote for them all. That's the new policy. I'm voting for them all. I'm just ranking them. I have to give some props to a Garfield reference. For some reason, that's not the one that popped up to me. Fuck you, bitch! Give me my balls back! Has me crying. I, you know, I, I, I went actually like I, I was, um, I was one, two, three, five, four. I, I, I did, did something about the the I pay taxes, like the cat saying to this little girl, I pay taxes, bitch. <laughs> like, fuck off. <laughs> yeah, the anthropomorphization took it to the next step, like the next level for me. Aspen with the Garfield reference. Well, look at you. I bet you had a good breakfast. Uh, castration joke wins the day. Of course and it do. Of course it does in this craft. Beast! Beast with the last fucking sweet, uh, the fucking last minute cross the line with that one. And we have a winner! Let's give him a hand. Yeah. Yeah, just pulled that away from Aspen in that last second. <laughs> Marcus, joke. 
Oh, yeah, let's see what the cast members were. Winner the uh, was the Beast, of course. Brooklyn Emperor of Space was Aspen. The Fire Eater was Alex. Lewis the Guard says Caboose. I almost read that as lewd. Kissing Man was Caleb. And the Frisbee player uncredited <laughs> was DJ Jake. Given that he didn't get a single one in. That makes sense. Aspen, you took the gamble with the Garfield one. Yeah. It's riffing time. Everyone head to rifftracks.games. New room, room code, DWLA. DWLA. Ugh, LA. I know, right? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Papa John in on this one. Alex, Caboose, Caleb, Beast, Papa John, and let's see. Well, you know what? Can I? Are they fitting since the graphic is a pizza? McSecular. McSecular in. So let's click start the game. Fucking did I get a quick round in here? Fuck. Hello, aspiring riffers. In each round of writer riff mode, a movie clip will play. Every clip has round one. Uh, I wonder what Sybil's cooking up. Okay. Take a deep breath. Ran towards the explosion. And enter your riff. Let's see. Let's see who finishes the cry. Uh, who crosses the finish line first on this one? Always oh, Papa John Pig with the fucking first across the line. All oh, beast is a scaly these days. With Alex still, Alex still a furry in in his renowned bunny costume at this point. Boost going for like a Peter Pan looking motherfucker with his like, I don't know, music pajamas. I wonder what Sybil's got. That silhouette actually vaguely resembles me. It's Mama, I'm time. coming home. <laughs> okay. I wonder what Sybil's cooking up. Children, get your dinner. I made aborted fetuses and discarded foreskins. I mean, yum. I wonder what Sybil's cooking up. I don't know, but whatever it looks like, it's not going well. <laughs> it's an accurate statement. I wonder what Sybil's cooking up. Oh shit, his wife is coming. <laughs> what the fuck is that supposed to mean? Uh, I wonder what Sybil's cooking up. Not this shit again, this bitch keeps trying to cook with TNT. Okay. I wonder what Sybil's cooking up. Racist crust. <laughs> Alright, that one caught me off guard. Here we go again. Time to vote. Um. Take your time. Just <laughs> quietly. Oh, oh. Mark is calling out Alex. So beast with that one. <clears throat> that field, yeah, that I I had my suspicions. Racist crust was Papa John. Caboose You're doing discarded great. foreskins. I mean, are you surprised? No, I want one. one. Yeah, racist crust fucking was uh. Round I, I, two. I'll admit, racist crust made me laugh. It it got me chuckling. Can I have a sandwich, please. Chicken or liverwurst? 
chicken. Oh, I mean, Jesus. It's go time, Mama Jama. That was. Your rip now. <laughs> she was serious about that. Are the posters? That, yeah, the posters are the same. Damn. I wish the posters changed. <clears throat> That'd be a really, really good touch. Is if they had new posters for shitty movies in the background every every game and they cycled them. <laughs> Marcus and Jay are submitting answers in chat as well. They're go, playing go, along go, too. Move, move, move. Shit, makes that killer. You better get on that, man. Boom. How do I vote for these chat answers? You can't, oh, Burger Man. Chicken. Good thing you didn't say liverwurst. That shit makes me fart like a fucking trumpet. <laughs> May I have a sandwich, please? Right? That makes sense, Aston. Chicken. Chicken. May I offer you a side of antidepressants? You sound like you need them. I'm thinking more like mood stabilizer. May I have a sandwich, please? Chicken or liver wash? Lithium. Chicken. <laughs> you basic bitch, eat your overcooked, unflavored chicken, you whore. Hi. <laughs> I'm down there. I'm for it. May I have a sandwich, please? Chicken or liver wash? Chicken. <laughs> Uncultured swine. <laughs> Apparently, we got some foodies up in here. May I have a sandwich, please? Chicken or liverwurst? Chicken. Damn, I forgot my apron. She made a conscious choice to deliver that line that way. Chicken. Like, <laughs> that's. Her delivery on that line is fucking just fascinating. <clears throat> I have no idea what liverwurst is. It's like a pate. It's it's ah. it's basically liver pate. It's that's probably pretty tasty though. It's German. Right. It's I think ger it's, all right. it's German liver pate. I mean, it's 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 one of those. If you if you ever had one pate, you've kind of had them all. So it's not like it's anything special. I just it's it's a pate. Go 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 move move move. Well, we'll see we'll see Papa John we'll see. I'll be up front. I, I, my primary pick was uh, <coughs> uh, swine. <laughs> you uncultured swine. Oh, I know this clip. Okay, so tell us, what does download mean? Time to bring the money. <laughs> I know this video. Now. Oh, God, I've seen this too. Mm -hmm. What does download mean? Oh, oh God. <laughs> like, oh wait, this room. Uh, some of you fuckers. <laughs> Jesus Christ, haunted, can-ass looking child. <laughs> che just went with a car. <laughs> oh. I 100%, I'll put this on the record, we'll just fucking clear this up right now, I 100% would download a car. Time's almost up. Oh, hell yeah. 
I love the way they had to change that ad campaign because everyone was like, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Papa but John. That sucks. They legitimately had to change www.netscape.com. Okay, Damn. so tell us, what does download mean? Download is sussy. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. www.netscape.com. Okay, so tell oh, us, God, what Netscape. does download mean? It means That's you're queer but can't talk about it. <laughs> www.netscape.com Okay, so tell us, what does download mean? I mean you can view your pornography <laughs> offline, away from government surveillance. That's, I mean, you know. www.netscape.com As it should okay, be. Okay, so tell us, what does download mean? Do I look like your damn teacher, ya trumped up semen demon? That's Alex. That's Alex. Yep. www.netscape.com <laughs> Okay, so tell us, what does download mean? It means you better run that antivirus <laughs> cause that porn you just got has spyware in it. Here we go again. Oh. So many porn references in this one. Let's see. Yeah, I, 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 I want to. This is an interesting spread here. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Let's see these results. Oh. I'm pretty sure I, I'm pretty sure I know two of those. Out of time. Who who wrote who wrote uh, who wrote two of those? But well played, good riffer. The round is yours. No, Astro, I I turned on ranked choice voting. Beast. Beast with a fucking dub. Three cheers for the top ripper. Beast yet again. By only 136 points, though. Oh, this fucking... This, it's kind of my favorite part. <laughs> See this fucking weird ass. The evil lamp. Alex was the evil lamp this time. The surly doll maker. Caboose, you're a surly doll maker if I've ever met one. And the yeah, I can see that. The cigar biker, Caleb. The Omega Cop stunt double was the Papa John Pig. And the anthropomorphic bar of soap was McSecular. That feels right, strangely enough. Yeah, cigar biker fits. Approved. Yeah, all, the, all those. I'm executive. I'm not good at this. I'll withdraw. <laughs> Let's see. Hang on. Fuck it. All right, gather your friends. Head to Riftracks.games and enter VXFZ. your room code. VXFZ. VXFZ. The trick is just throw it out there and don't hold back. Yeah. Yeah. You just got to take a swing. I'm inspired by the bar of soap. Dude, the, the bar of soap. Yeah. The anthropomorphic bar of soap was. Just, uh, I mean. That would be kind of, kind of, the, kind of the lead character in a way. You could tell that the director was putting some of himself. Wow, I just made it in by the skin of my teeth. Ooh. I don't know who the fuck Jaden Yoon is, so this should be interesting. Hello, Jaden, uh, Jaden Young. Welcome. We don't know who you are, so this should be interesting. Have you played Rift Tracks before? Maybe you have. You were quick to jump in. <clears throat> Pound coins back in it. We got Papa John back in. Beast Caboose. Hello, aspiring riffers. In each Fucking. round of writer riff mode, oh. a movie clip will play. Every clip has a spot to write your own joke or riff, as we call cool. it. If you're stuck, you can choose a randomly assigned riff from one of our own professional comedy professionals. Oh, thanks for the fall. At a slight point reduction. 
everyone's riffs are played back and you vote for your favorite. Although, at the end of all the rounds, the can't player choose with here. the most points wins. Oh, nice. From New Zealand. We have a few people in community from New Zealand. Round one. Pull up a chair. It's the After Dark, it's the after dark show, so we get... Uh, oh, no. Jaden, no. <laughs> Not PG-13. We're an 18-over community. You're good, man. It's that time again. Enter your riff now. We're all a little drunk or stoned or something like that. It's the, it's the After Dark show. So, enjoy yourself, man. Though it's probably like middle of the day. Yeah, it's New Zealand. Fucking grab a beer. <laughs> or se severely sleep deprived. Yeah, we do have that as well going on right now. <laughs> or some combination they're in. It's like 2.30 a.m. for some of us. Yeah, uh, me included. Yeah. Take your time. Who's the furry this time? Caleb's the furry this time. And Caboose is back to being a scaly. As is tradition. I am the lizard man trying to indoctrinate your children. Bless, bless our drugs. I'm the furry that wants a little box or something. <laughs> oh... Drugs. Also, bless my nostrils, cause I'm about to rail a line of coke. <laughs> two different references. Two different drug references. Solid. Please, 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 I am not a cop, please, 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 Solid Cheech and Chong reference. Hey, good on you, Eric. That ganja smacked my booty hard, hard. <laughs> hard, hard. Good slap on the ass, though. It works. Bless our drugs. Yas, Y A A A A S S S. Time to pick the funniest riff. Vote now. Uh, where's my sound panel? There it is. I'm um, just. Whoever went for the Yas. Sorry, it just is what it is. We're running ranked voting here as well, just so everybody knows. Um <laughs> Um There. Uh, areas uh, areas announced that I am the Lizard King. I can do anything. That was me. That's why I congratulated Areas like a minute ago. I was like, hey, um, solve us, sir. This is uh, Rift Tracks the game. Um, yeah, we're we're just fucking hanging out, chilling. May or may not be under the influence of a variety of substances. All right, what we got? Press the button. Beast, beast, you should be ashamed. Well, I for one am impressed. Caboose, the fucking Chong reference. Of course. That a boy. Round two. Your space commander has returned from Earth. Oh, hey, it's um, plan nine. In. You've seen the clip? Now enter your riff. Uh, and if you're a regular to Bad Movie Night in the community, you've seen this movie as well. Yeah, I do think that's a great idea though, Aspen. The posters on the walls should rotate. They should be for the movie that you're watching. I know that's a lot of fucking work, but it would have been a really nice touch. Yeah, that's when I was playing nine from outer space. Yeah, that would have been a really nice touch for them to have. <clears throat> so. 
Who's in? Oh, Pound Who's Coin and Papa. Nope, Papa John, John Pig is the last people. fucking. Oh, in. Have we done Plan 9? Yeah, we have. Damn, must have been before I joined. Your space commander has returned from Earth. Send him in. Oh, God, that boy ugly as hell. Your space commander has returned from Earth. I think I know who did that one. Send him in. My metallic spandex glitter in anticipation. Your space commander has returned from Earth. Send him in. Just call him yourself, you lazy fuck. I hate this job. <laughs> Your space commander has returned from Earth. Send him in. So that's what lavender fash means? <laughs> Jesus Wait, how did you change the voice? I have no idea. Your space commander has returned from Earth. Send him in. Galactic T Wizard incoming. Nice. Yeah, there's 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 a reference. Your space commander has returned from Earth. Send him in. Man, this costume really makes my balls sweat. Got a favorite riff? Vote now. Uh, okay, so I'm pretty sure vo uh, number one was um, fucking our new boy, Jaden uh, Jaden Young, because th they said that they've played this before, and the fact that you can put a Wilhelm scream in parentheses and get a Wilhelm scream out shows that somebody knew what the fuck how to play this game. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that's our uh, that's our, our boy. Um, all right. Fucking, I gotta, I mean, I gotta, uh -huh. you know what, that one actually made me laugh. That one worked. Alright. Yeah, I mean, but T-Wizard represent. Take your time. And just sit here quietly. Sitting there quietly doesn't mean you get to talk, bitch. Shut the fuck up. Doing great there. Don't get cocky. <laughs> yep, I was correct. Papa John with the, okay, Rippers, the T Wizard reference. It's the final round. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the outfit that I wore to my last facelift. Would you believe it? Are you the That's next amazing. top riffer? Enter your riff. I want to see the rest of that, whatever that is. What? Yeah, what the fuck like, was I, that? I need that in my life. isn't even any blood on it. What were you trying to do with the 1994 command, Caboose? I'm looking up commands for riff tracks. Ah. And there's apparently chat commands you can do. I'm seeing if they do anything. Fair enough. Did anything happen? Nope. Alright, well, maybe it doesn't work for this. I can keep trying. Go, 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 move, move, move. <laughs> I've requested to be buried in this one. Ooh, at the four oh second. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the outfit that I wore to my last facelift. Would you believe it? It's made from 15 different types of dead animals. <laughs> I, mean, that's just, I mean, you know. Oh my goodness. If you're going to do it, do it. <laughs> the outfit that I wore to my last facelift. Would you believe it? You know this bitch punched a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the outfit that I wore to my last facelift. Would you believe it? I have had so much Just... plastic pumped into me. I'm probably fireproof <laughs> at this point. Mm. Oh my you just goodness. noticed, Pound Coin? <laughs> the outfit that I wore to my last facelift. Would you believe it? Your face looks like it needs at least two more lifts. <laughs> <laughs> That's young again. Oh you can do uh, 
goodness. Swear beeps. <laughs> the outfit that I wore to my last facelift. Would you believe? Thanks for teaching us, man. Can you believe I was only 92 in this one? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the outfit that I wore to my last facelift. Would you believe it? Right after I killed my third husband. <laughs> okay, we all had a good laugh. Now time to vote. I can't help it. Dude. <laughs> it still makes me chuckle. I have a clear winner for that one. <laughs> for myself, at least. Oh. Uh... I wonder how how deep the content is in this game. Like, if there's a f if there's like a huge if there's a there's a fucking huge library behind this, then you know what? Like, yeah, I like this. This is funny. I I, I can get behind this, but if like you, if after like We're all 20, 30 play sessions, you're you're out of content, then fuck this game. It depends where it pulls content from. If it pulls it locally, it's probably limited, but it could just skin YouTube, I suppose. Might be a champion riffer in the making. It may be the winner, but in my heart, Papa John's was the winner for me. <laughs> that fucking, you know this bitch punched a hippie. <laughs> For some reason it works for me. And the winner is No no beast, we're gonna fucking There can only be one top ripper. Papa John, congratulations on a victory. If you've if people have been winning, remember your winningness. That way if we do a fucking we'll do a a, a champions round one time. Way to finally boot a uh, beast. <laughs> yeah. Fucking, uh, fucking Papa John Pig coming in and fucking taking the crown. The grocery witch was pound coin. That feels right for some reason. A frumpy lady. Caboose, you played a frumpy lady. The aquatic champion number two was beast. The eagle dot gif was Caleb. And Mrs. Claus was Jaden Young. <laughs> uh, I like the dot gif. Yeah. Uh, how am I dot gif? How does that work? It's gif. It's gif. It, Just accept you it. You can now. argue with me all you like. It is I'm gif. I'm still going to ignore you and say gif. Don't waste your breath. Well, you're wrong. I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> there we go. Fucking. Oh, a fucked up version of people. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's see. All right. Let me rearrange some stuff here. And move some stuff and all of that. Put stuff back where it belongs. Oh, that was a that was a nice way to round out the night. Oh yeah, no, no, we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up, Papa John. Don't worry about it. Uh I remember my wind getting stolen. <laughs> says Aspen. Oh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I. Yeah, I mentioned that actually. Like, yeah, can't stop the kittens. Uh, actually, fucking DM'd me. <laughs> it was like, you know, fucking. Uh, what they say? It was um, <clears throat> meowdy. And thanks so much for the raid. Things have been sad and stressful as of late, and I really appreciate all the support coming from a comrade in whatever fashion. Just adds as a uh, adds an extra lovely garnish. So. That's yeah. Apparently, can't stop the kittens. Has been having a having a moment. That sucks. Yeah. So let's see. Yeah, you're doing fine. You got. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna raid back over. They're they're fucking meowdy. Oh my god, cute. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, bookworm. We ending so soon. Um. For those of us on the uh, west coast of America, soon is three a.m. Um. So, you know, yeah, like we're, we're coming up on it here. So we're going to raid over to can't stop the kittens. Um, and you are free to look at the, the kittens as much or as little as you choose, you choose. Um, that is up to you, but 
So, yeah, well, beast, I'm going to go make a fucking steak and some rice and shit like that, right? Like, I'm going to round this night out. So, either way, kittens. Oh, my God, your Astro's a sub over. I fucking can't stop the kittens. Um, Aspen, sleep well, my man. A night cranky bookworm. And for the, like, yeah, a couple of new people that came in from the fucking Rift Tracks category. Like, if you're still here, thanks for hanging out. You fucking young dude. Um, thanks for playing. Yeah. Uh, cause apparently there are hidden commands and shit in that game. <laughs> you can, you can put like bleeps and fucking Wilhelm screams and shit in your, in your answer. So learning stuff either way. Bye everyone. Bye.